You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. So Candace wants to know, um, does everyone lose their hair on chemotherapy? Hmm. Is that a That's an interesting question. We haven't had that one yet. Mm -hmm. um, well, obviously chemotherapy um, can cause you to lose your hair because was it, what it does is it... Uh, it affects, you know, most chemotherapy drugs, most standard chemotherapy drugs affect any rapidly reproducing cell. And so they will affect um, the, you know, the hair follicles because they're constantly growing daily. Um, there's certain drugs that typically cause hair loss. Uh, doxorubicin is one example. Um, cyclophosphamide, which is an old drug. It's been around for a while. It's a microtubulin inhibitor. Uh, the taxols from the Pacific yew tree, paclitaxel, docetaxel. Uh, Danarubicin mm -hmm. is another one. Um, Epirubicin, uh, topicide, um, just just to mention a few. These typically do cause hair loss. Now, um, this brings up a, a great question. Um, I'm not sure if, if many people are aware of this, but um, there's been a lot of emphasis on reducing hair loss because it can be very traumatic for people, especially young people. I mean, once you get to my age, hair loss is kind of a good thing you don't, you don't need to shave <laughs> as much. <laughs> well, yeah. Less trips to the hairdresser. Um, so yeah, so there's a whole new area of, of um, uh, treatment options for hair loss. And they, what they typically involve is reducing the blood flow during the chemotherapy. So most of these chemotherapy drugs, they're only active in the body for a short period of time. And so if you can reduce the circulation to the areas where there are hair, um, you know, such as your scalp, that you want to preserve your hair, uh, then you can um, go a long ways in reducing the effects of these chemotherapy drugs because they're not in your body for a long period of time. Mm. So there's this whole industry um, known as cappies now. And in the States, it's really big. And so these cappies used to go around to different um, chemotherapy treatment centers and they would bring in these boxes, these ice boxes of um, iced helmets, kind of kind of like what you would put, um, the ice packs that you'd put on an injury, mm -hmm. the flexible ice packs. Well, now you can buy those online. Mm. They're really cheap. They're about $30. Mm -hmm. um, you want to get a few of them and you just toss them into the freezer before you go for your chemotherapy. And then when you go through your chemotherapy, you pop them on. Wow. Now, uh, some cancer centers in Canada have been very difficult with this and have been resisting it. I'm not sure the reasoning on this. Uh, there is no real reason not to do this. It's not gonna affect the patients. Um, the outcome of treatment. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna affect the outcome of treatment. Mm -hmm. It's just not. And there's statistical data to show that it helps. Oh, it works significantly well. To prevent oh, hair you loss. Oh, you can, pre you can preserve 90% of, you know, 95% of your hair. Wow. There's lots of studies on that. Mm -hmm. There are actually machines now. Um, there's a company in Canada I know who's been producing machine and I believe they just got Health Canada approval to use their machines. Uh, every province is different in Canada. Some provinces allow them these machines, others don't. But these machines basically put a cooling fluid um, through a cap and it's constantly on. Um, it's a little portable mm -hmm. machine and while you're on your chemotherapy, you put this on. So definitely um, you could go online, you could buy these frozen caps um, and you can you know get five or six of them, put them in a ice box and bring them to your chemotherapy. Just rotate them as you Just go rotate through. them, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, they work really well. Hmm. So and that prevents no those, real reason. those stem cells from dying? Or what is uh, it's it? not the stem it? cells. Chemotherapy doesn't affect the stem cells. Okay. Um, it affects the uh, products of the stem cells. I see. So the rapidly growing um, hair follicle cells. I see. And so having the, chem having the cold pack on your it head. It limits the blood flow to the hair follicle. Mm -hmm. And it's just in the outer, in the epidermis layers. Right. Well, that's real. That's amazing. What a simple mm -hmm. fix for yeah. a problem. Um, you can go on Amazon. You can buy them, I believe. Um, or you can just, uh, you know, get one of these machines. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, you, you rent them, I believe. Mm. Right. Okay. So that, so, and that's a legitimate concern. If I can avoid mm -hmm. losing my hair, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's great. It's a nice, simple solution. Yes. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.